Everything has meaning. Some people take years or even decades to find their purpose. Others go their entire life without knowing what it all means. On the other hand, objects have an easier time finding meaning. The chair is a symbol of loss. A tree symbolizes a lot of things. I could go into detail about the meaning of everyday objects, but the focus of today is the boat. But what exactly is a boat? A boat is anything that can float on a liquid and can generally keep its contents safely inside. But what is a liquid? It is the state of matter between gas and solid. Gas objects include air and internet gas. Solid objects include tree, grass, and servers. And in one of these servers, located in Chicago, the biggest MMO server in Minecraft is contained. Otherwise known as Hypixel Skyblock. And that's where the boats we mentioned earlier come into play. You see, players on the aforementioned Hypixel Skyblock have a general dislike for boats. But why is that the case? You can't even use boats in this server. Anyways, let's talk about why boats have become symbolic on Hypixel Skyblock. But first, we will dive into the history of boats. 10,000 years ago, the Peace Canoe is created, which is believed to be the oldest boat in existence. This object inspired many video game creators to add boats to their own games. Minecraft was no exception. And boats were added to Minecraft in Alpha version 1.0.6, in 2010. Three years later, a guy called Simon creates Hypixel. Hypixel then becomes the biggest Minecraft server, and due to popular request, the admins decide to recreate the classic game of Skyblock. A game where you begin on a tiny island and use limited resources to survive. But the admins said, just kidding, and the game becomes a prisons server that contained floating islands. And this is where our story begins, in July the 2nd, 2019. It has only been a few weeks since Skyblock's release, and the admins decide to create a new update. And in this update, the Dark Auction was introduced. Here's how it worked. Once every real-life hour, an NPC called Sirius will show up at this location. If you interact with him, he will take you to his basement where you can do business with him. And in this basement, there would be up to 20 other men, and there would also be a bunch of items up for auction. One of them was the flower minion, which appears in every dark auction. Keep this in mind. Two months later, on September the 10th, there was this YouTuber who existed. His name was Time Dayo. He happened to be one of the richest players on Hypixel Skyblock, and he had just bought one of the most expensive swords back then. And for his 100,000 subscriber special, he did a poll. He could either do a very expensive 50 million coin giveaway, or buy a flower minion for 50 million coins, which was 20 times what it was actually worth. The second option was much funnier than the first option, and as the old saying goes, sharing is caring, but giveaways are. Nay, and everyone voted for him to bid 50 million coins on a flower minion. Little did he know, his quest would be interrupted by boats. Upon entering the dark auction, Deo noticed that invisible players were throwing boats everywhere to annoy people. He had a bad feeling about this, but he had to do it for the views. And things would go terribly wrong. Not surprisingly, when he was about to bid 50 million coins, his inventory was getting filled with boats. The problem with this is that when your inventory is full, claiming items from the dark auction will cause the item to drop on the floor for any random person to pick up. This was not an ideal situation. He started to panic due to the boats, and instead of bidding 50 million coins, he accidentally bid 40 million coins, and the auction ended. According to Time Deo, what? I was panicking under pressure due to the fact that my inventory was filling up with boats because I had no idea what would happen if my inventory was full. Anyways, he decided to upload this. And then over a million people came to see the video. But not only did they see him try and fail to get a 50 million coin flower minion, but they also saw that you could troll people by dropping boats in the dark auction. Before this, trolling with boats wasn't very common, but after September the 10th, boats were everywhere, and the Skyblock forums would be filled with complaints about boats. 
things would only get worse from here, with people finding new ways to troll others with boats. But first, let's take a look at how people came up with boat spamming in the first place. Speaking of take a look, take a look at this. Drag clicking is one of the most overpowered methods of clicking something, and I would like you to do drag clicking on the subscription button. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. Boats weren't placeable in the hub, and they weren't used to craft anything. You couldn't do much with them for now. Boats are not stackable, so it's very easy to fill your inventory with them. Many items in Skyblock aren't stackable, but boats were the easiest to obtain. And they were also very cheap. All you had to do was go to the lumber merchant, buy a bunch of wood, and put it in a smiley face shape, and you have achieved boats. The next step was using them. Some trolls realized that boats could easily clog your inventory, and they used this to annoy people in their free time. One person would bring an inventory of boats and drop them at a crowded area, preferably at spawn. And if the troller was lucky enough, the victim would accidentally drop a valuable item while getting rid of the boats. It is unsure who invented boat spam, but the first complaint about this behavior was on the forums, on August the 14th. A guy called Shaw3DX bring up the constant boat litter at the auction house, which caused his game to lag. But for now, boats didn't do much harm, until someone filed another complaint on September the 2nd. In the Skyblock and Dimension, there are dragon fights. Players can spawn a dragon and then obtain loot after killing it. But some capitalist people did not sit well with the idea of other players getting money. So at the end of a dragon fight, some players would spam boats everywhere to clog the inventories of other players so they couldn't pick up their dragon loot. People began to realize that spamming boats on others could cause them to lose out on valuable items. Beyond this, boats were no longer just a toy to annoy people. They were causing legitimate problems. More people began to use boats to troll others, not only in the main hub or in the end, but in the dark auction as well. Fast forward a week, and the practice of boat spamming is brought to attention in Time Deo's video. And even more people would do it. Complaints about boats would become more common after Time Deo's video, and people would question if trolling with boats was punishable. The answer was, kind of yes, but it was nearly impossible to enforce the rule against trolling. People began to ask for an item filter, and the admins would add that. In December the 3rd, so the players had to endure three months of boat spam while the admins were busy doing all of this. But despite the new item filter, a new form of boat spamming was emerging, that didn't target player inventories. In Hypixel Skyblock, each player has their own private island. Some people have island visits enabled, allowing anyone to visit their island to take a look. And on a lot of these islands, there are cactus farms droppers, and other AFK farms, each of them relying on hoppers. When the hoppers are clogged, the farms won't work, which may lead to millions of coins of potential profit being destroyed. Luckily, visitors can't drop items on other people's islands, right? Now introducing, the backpack. The backpack allows you to store a bunch of items in a single inventory slot. Dropping an item out of the backpack would cause the item to go to the inventory, but if your inventory was full, the item would fall out. Normally, you can't drop items on other people's islands, but with this method, you could drop anything. Another method was used involving the Ender Chest, which was a vault accessible from anywhere in the game. You would put a bunch of boats in your Ender Chest, fill your inventory, and drop the items out of the Ender Chest. You could grief the farm systems of other players by clogging their hoppers, and many people abuse this power. Many players closed their islands from the public, but some people still kept them open. And of these people, two groups would be especially targeted by hopper griefing. YouTubers, and macrovers. People were upset with those who used auto-clicking or macros to gain resources on their island without any user input, and people like how do I say this guy's name encouraged others to fill the hoppers used by macroers so they couldn't get resources. Others simply wanted to get a good laugh, so they decided to prank YouTubers who kept their island open. One of these YouTubers was Ben Mascot, who had a mob dropper farm. 
Basically, it was a farm where mobs spawn and die from fall damage and give you free stuff. But he discovered that he was not farming loot, but farming boats. He had just gotten trolled, and he was not very pleased with this. On the other hand, the original Ace wasn't farming mob drops, but he was farming donations. He was running a system known as the Scam Charity, where people would visit his island, use the backpack glitch to drop donations into his hoppers, and the original Ace would give the donations to those who got scammed. But some people decided to ruin this, because, I don't know. So, they clogged the donation system with boats to make it harder for the scam charity to function. A similar form of griefing was featured in Technoblade's Potato War video, where he filled Squid Kid's hoppers with unstackable hose, causing him a lot of pain and loss of productivity. It was becoming unbearable, and in this period, nearly everyone who knew what they were doing, closed their islands. But of course, all bad things, must come to an end. The admins fixed hopper griefing, dark auction item dropping, and basically all other problems caused by boats, with a feature known as the stash. The stash feature has existed since November of 2019, but somewhere around July of 2020, the stash was updated to fix issues related to boats. Today, if you collect an item while you have a full inventory, the item will go into an invisible stash instead of falling out of your inventory, which you can get back by doing slash pickup stash. Dropping boats on other islands no longer works, as boats will now go to your stash as well. Basically, boats had caused the community a lot of pain and wasted a lot of money, and the admins were forced to update the game several times to fix the problems. Boats would become associated with trolling, griefing, and mass destruction and many people would despise them. They were the item to go to in case you needed to annoy someone, and they did the job pretty well. The admins would even commemorate the lag caused by boat spam, by creating a special item known as the Kloon Boat, which had an item description saying to drop it to decrease FPS. But at least it's all over now. No more boats. No more lag. And there aren't even any morals to this story. Some stories are just funny. Speaking of stories, check out these other cool stories. Anyways, that's all for today. Goodbye.